Hi guys, about doing more exercises again. Walking, chilling. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It rained yesterday, so it washed all the clouds away. By clouds, what I mean by clouds, I mean chemtrails. The not so actual clouds, you know what I mean? It is gorgeous. There's a couple of clouds here and there, like actual clouds. The sun is out. It's nice and quiet out here. It's beautiful. Nature is gorgeous. Today, always, and forever more. There's a big old berry tree up there. Wow. Nature is just gorgeous. Um, I want to talk about something. Who's living with that? Um, okay. <laughs> when I was younger, probably back in like, I won't even say high school, I'll I say about maybe college. Like my college days, back then I was so lost and hurt and everybody can see it. I've talked about, um, I've had videos talking about this before where I mentioned that when you've been abused and hurt, it's like everybody in the world can see it. Everybody can see your scars. It's a spiritual thing, it's not a physical thing. It's a spiritual thing to where people, the ones with ill intent can easily look at you and be like, ha, that's the person I wanna pick on today. That's the person I wanna mess up more because they've already been damaged. It's like you're easily moldable because you're already um, tainted. You've already been damaged, you've already been manipulated. You know, you've already been touched, you've already been scorned. <clears throat> so, back when I was already scorned, you know, before I found myself, I had the worst type of guys looking at me. <laughs> um, I did a video about this before, again, right, several videos about this, where all I used to attract were these unattractive fat guys. Um, and it was irritating because I'm like, is this all I'm worth? I'm always attracting people who are like sloppy and out of shape. That's what used to happen back then. Again, I know I talked about this before. Y'all need to watch some of the older videos where I discussed it. If you're really curious of what I'm talking about. But, um, I used to attract the most unattractive guys all the time. Wherever I went, they would try to holler at me. They would try to get serious with me, blah, blah, blah. So, a couple of years of being married and finding myself, that kind of passed in a way. <laughs> it took a long time, but it eventually passed. <laughs> I don't get fat guys hollering at me anymore, but... Even in the midst of that, it wasn't just fat guys a lot of times. A lot of times it was just ghetto guys. Them ratchet ass men. You know, the ones who don't know how to holler at a female correctly. You know, I used to attract those type of men too. I don't remember if I specifically talk about that. But yeah, I used to attract the most no good guys. And it was ridiculous because it's like, again, when people look at you, they can see you're hurt. Because if you don't find yourself, if you haven't found who you are and you don't have your confidence there, it'll get there one day, but in the meantime, you're going to have the worst people come your way. And that's what was happening to me for the longest, longest time. And I would tell my husband about it here, he knew this, because he would sense it. You know, I used to get the worst type of guys come for me, these ratchet ass, hey, shawty, what your name is, type of guys. And I would look at them like, what the fuck do you think I want with you? you? Can't even talk. Like, seriously. So, that that was the thing. I would get the most unconfident men. And that's the other thing. When you don't have confidence in yourself, um, you don't attract confident people. And I also realized that as far as women, like, I wasn't attracting confident women for the longest time either. I would attract these low vibration ratchet women as well now i'm not saying i'm you know i'm not talking like oh i'm the shit and i got it all together no it's just people who are not on my level i always attract attracted people who are not on my level who want to be with me sexually and i've come to realize lately that's been slowing down a lot like i said i used to attract the worst people and in my complex there used to be a pack of guys who would always try to hit on me every time I passed by. 
Um, let me just say something. They couldn't rest without saying something to me. Every time I walk by to get the mail, every time I walk by to do anything, I'm walking, you know, taking the kids on a walk, whatever. Every time I walk by that particular area, again, the most ratchet guys would try to they'd just be, they couldn't help themselves but to say something. Yeah, I'm not rude. I'll say hey back, but, um, they, uh, what am I trying to say? They would some get aggressive in their speech. You know, I always ignored them. I would make up something, ignore them. I just keep walking. So I got to the point where I just started, kept, I just kept walking. Now what happens is, when I come across guys like that, they mm -hmm. don't bother me. Like, they legit don't bother me. I mean, I'm not saying that. Is it, oh no, they just gave up. No, I mean, this guy's everywhere. I don't just mean the ones in my complex. I'm just using it as an example. I've tested it into other people too. When I come across real ratchet people or real or people who don't have my best interest in mind, I kind of come to realize that they don't bother me anymore. They don't pressure me. That's the word I'm looking for. They don't pressure me anymore to be like them. They don't, you know, push. Because again, you don't confidence in yourself. Anybody can mm -hmm. easily mm -hmm. come and mm -hmm. try to manipulate you. Minutes. They can Nine easily seconds. Distance. One mile. try to pace. mold you and shape you into 19. how they want you to be rather than how you want to be. And that's just easy. I mean, literally, guys, if you've been abused, you already know what that is because you're looking for love in all the wrong places. Mm -hmm. And they know you're looking for love in all the wrong places. It's obvious because, again, you sh your scars show. Your emotional and psychological scars show on you if you let it if you haven't found yourself um it's not going to be covered uh how, how would i put that it's like when you truly have found your confidence your true confidence and you don't care what anybody says you're not going to go for this and you're not going to go for that nothing you do or say is going to make them budge i mean it's going to make them keep pushing if you say no it's just going to be no and I've realized that over the years, it took me a long time to get to this point. But those ratchet ass no good guys who used to holler at me no longer try to holler at me. They'll say, hey, of course, you know, they'll wave, I'll wave back, hey, how you doing? It's just a cordial thing. <laughs> but they don't try to get my pants anymore. There's a difference, a huge difference. And that's why women keep complaining, oh, I can't find a good man. Why can't I find a good man? Sis, your confidence is not there. And guess what? Neither is his. Which is why he's hollering at you all wrong to make you even be on the defense in the first place. It has a lot to do with confidence and knowing who the fuck you are. If you don't know who you are, like you truly don't know, you still have the same type of issues that teenagers are going through. Where it's like, I don't know myself. I feel lost. I don't know where I'm going in life, blah, blah, blah. If you feel those things on a daily basis, repeatedly, and it's not getting better, and you're going through your 30s and it's not getting better, that's a problem. Of course you're not going to find a good man. You're not. I mean, <laughs> that's just how it is. A man, you're not going to find a good, confident woman. Zooming because if she's not confident, well, that's what you're going to be attracting. You attract what you are. So before, when I was unconfident, that's why I was attracting those guys. And I couldn't understand it for the longest. I mean, it's like I knew, but then I didn't know. I would always attract the most unattractive people and they were unattractive not because of just their looks but the in their attitudes you know and because I'm bisexual that goes for men and women in a sense where you know it got to a point where y'all already know I couldn't even find friends but I still kind of can't find friends <laughs> you know I mean just out in life I still can't find actual friends and as far as that type of confidence, I'm working on that because sometimes I don't really believe that I deserve good friends. Even though I know I deserve good friends. So I talked recently in a video about that saying that I was doing these affirmations saying, yes, I want and deserve female friends because I do. Like who says I can't have genuine friends? Who says that I don't deserve to have some female time? I've never had any, um, actual female time and it's it's bothersome it really does get to me sometimes to where i still occasionally want to cry about it i still occasionally occasionally do but hey that's a working process again i'm working on that 
my confidence is not fully there Who's in that area. Workout? Now, as far as How's people trying workout? to date me or whatnot, people trying to get my pants, <laughs> I didn't knock that out of the water. That experience I had last year with the woman that I so-called fell for, the one that was married, Resuming the one who tried to get me to be with her sexually, and then when I told her we couldn't be together sexually because we're both married, um, and she said she didn't want to be my friend. I was like, okay, well, fine. We had to cut each other off completely because she said she couldn't be friends with me. And that kind of hurt me to the core because I'm like, why can't we? Why can't we be friends? I mean, I, I didn't understand her logic. She's like, oh, I just got to have you sexually. Bitch, please. That was just, uh-uh. That was a low confidence blow on my part because I thought that's all I deserved. I thought, I really thought the woman cared about me at the time because she said everything I wanted to hear. She said everything I thought I wanted to hear to me. <sighs> yeah, I did a whole video on that. But um, never again, y'all. Never fucking again. I will not fall for that bullshit again. So, again, regarding men and women, I don't attract the same type of people anymore. Ever since that situation, I learned a lot through that situation because it almost broke my marriage and it almost broke me. Uh, I learned a lot and from that point on I have not attracted the same type of people I have been attracting attracting better people now occasionally yeah I'm gonna come across those ghetto floozies or you know they they try they may, tr may try to come my way and I just shoot them down I say no or I just nicely tell them off you know in a, in a in the nicest way possible but overall it's not abundant See, years ago it was abundant it was i was abundantly attracting the wrong type of people especially men back then I, you know even the whole time i was dating my husband ghetto men the wrong type of men all the time trying to hit on me repeatedly and it was kind of like overbearing to her it's like i felt like i couldn't tell him no i felt like i couldn't i couldn't tell them what i really wanted to say and i would just go home and rave about it <laughs> but now it's like pfft, they don't even come towards me anymore because they sense my confidence they sense that if they come towards me now, I'm going to have a different attitude about it. They sense that they can't pull the same tricks on me that they used to pull on me, you know? And that's what confidence does. That's what knowing yourself does. Spending time in nature and blooming into yourself. That's what it does. It gives you confidence to knock away the people that you really don't want in your life. Knock away the people that you don't need in your life. This is what it does. That's what it's supposed to do. You know? Resuming workout. So, um... Resuming workout. Okay. Oh, well. I walked a mile already. Um... Yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. And... Resuming I'm workout. very happy that I do not attract the same type of people anymore. I no longer attract low-grade, low-vibrational people. Because I know myself now. And I know that I am no longer low vibrational. Now, like I said, everything ain't perfect. No one's ever perfect. You know, there's always something to work on, but I'm not at that low vibrational point anymore. What the? I am not there anymore where I'm attracting just ratchetness and get in my life. I'm just not, and I'm happy. I'm so, so happy. It even happened today. I was walking around this complex and it was a pack of guys who I knew they wanted to holler at me because they were staring at me. They didn't. They just waved, said hey, and I kept on walking. Respect, you know? <laughs> just general respect. That's all I want. Resume and now I'm getting right. that general respect because I respect myself. And when you respect I yourself, people will feel it and they will respect themselves as well. And they can't reach you like that anymore. There's something about when you respect yourself where you can't, people can't do certain things. People can't touch you the same way they used to. Ooh, this tree is gorgeous. <laughs> Blending in. And that's just how it is. You can't be touched by certain people anymore. Certain people don't phase you anymore. They can't phase you. They could try, but they can't. And that's just what it is, Resuming legitimately. Right so yeah i just love this area it's so gorgeous oh my god look at these trees 
You know, I could just hang out here all day. If I could live out here, I would. I'm glad I found my my nature niche. <laughs> I'm truly a nature girl. I am just fawning over this. Happy. <laughs> this is what happiness looks like. <sighs> all right. Um, I believe that's all I wanted to say. Uh, let me know your comments and opinions down below. Um, I know I haven't been getting that much views and stuff on my videos lately, and guess what? I don't care, because if the people watching my videos are not on the same frequency, they're not going to understand, and you're not going to care about my videos that might seem boring, I don't care. You know, whoever's meant to be here is meant to be here, and that's just how it's going to be. So, yeah. I'm not really up here for money like that. I'm not really up here to get rich or famous or none of that shit. I'm just up here because I genuinely enjoy it and I want to spread a message. And that's just what it is. So, <sighs> yeah. Leave your comments and opinions down below. Don't forget to like this video. I appreciate the like so I'll know what topics to talk more about. Don't forget to like. It does help. Yes, you. Yes, you too in the pink shirt. You guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and week. Thank you for watching. Peace out.